All right, guys, this is Zisto. Welcome back to my single player world. SSP is sheep. No one here making so much noise. Episode number eight, sheep. Get off of my little observation pillar. I could have sworn, I mean, I saw these sheep down here waiting for the sun to rise. Thinking to myself, those are some noisy sheep. But, but no, it's this guy behind me making lots of noise. And let me pick up that wool. Uh, there's no shears in the game. And we also, uh, we can't breed them. So actually wool is a little bit tricky to come by in large quantities. Also no dye. A whole lot of other things we're missing. We are still in Alpha 1.1. Okay, so we are going to work on the tower base today. I promised last time that we would use an entire stack of TNT uh, made from the sulfur. I think it's called sulfur still. I don't think it's gunpowder yet. Made from the sulfur from dead creepers from my mob farm. Uh, I, I promised we'd use an, an entire stack of TNT this episode to blow the smithereens out of this thing, to clear it out a little bit. Uh, because digging things, even with a diamond pick, is so tedious in alpha, uh, before enchants were added. But, not only do I have a stack of TNT, no, I've got two, a double barrel of awesome. And we're going to shoot both of them into this thing. Um, we are not too far from being able to update to 1.2, the next patch, that adds the nether. Uh, I would actually, I would really like to get some glowstone. The only lighting I have right now is lava and torches. Uh, the, the patch museum down this way is done. I've got the farmland set up. The only thing I really want to do, uh, I want to accomplish before then, is to set up a little bit of an organized storage system in what is going to be my initial base here, in this tower. I want to have the tower base done. This is the build limit here, 128. There's no coordinate system. So this is as high as we can go. Uh, so I want to build a tower base. You can see I can't place. Can't place no block. Um, I want to build a tower base. I want to stretch the aqueducts, or at least have a uh, some kind of basic boat launcher. I may not finish the aqueducts, the aqueducts are going to go out to the edge of the map, about 200 blocks that way, where we will meet the new terrain of 1.2. Uh, I don't necessarily feel the need to finish those before we update. Okay, so I want to clear this area out, and I don't want to spend a ton of time digging it. Just doing this stuff took what felt like a million years. Got a lot of food on me. Because uh, I think I might just need it. So let's see. Uh, we're, we're in the old version of the game where you can light TNT just by punching it, which is very nice. For this. Oh, look at that. That was that was a good... Uh, okay, good. Three... Oh, okay. Three block hole. Let me just test. That may be our blueprint. Oh, yeah. That's why I have so much food. Look at that, that's a perfect, uh, perfect hole, okay. Uh, let's try. Great, um. Now how do I get out? <laughs> Here's a problem for you. Let's try a four, oops. Oh no. I don't think I can actually get that back now that I've placed it. This is why I haven't placed the TNT in the patch museum because of something like this. Oh gosh. Wow. Oh, that one, uh, th the one that got set off, got set off faster. And look at that. Okay, so that did go down an additional block. So I think what, like four blocks down is probably good. So what if I, oh, oh, there's the stairs. Okay, what if I did, uh, what if I put one like here? So I'm just going to, basically I just want to get some testing done on the spacing with the first severals. Okay, that didn't even come close to touching the top. I want to get some spacing ideas down, and then we'll start doing multiples at a time. I still haven't crafted any armor this whole series. Maybe it would have been a good idea to have some of that. 
Here, I can just do this. There, okay. Boom! Okay, I didn't quite clear out all the top. Okay, let's just go for uh, three blocks deep. Let's do some multiples here. All right, grid number one. Oh, gosh! Ow! Oh, yes, very nice! Oh, that's almost perfect, look at that! Okay, that was a three by three grid, and it did almost a perfect job digging all of that out. That's really good, okay. So I think what I want to do then is to copy that across the whole thing and then lower this whole area down to that level. That was, that was perfect. All right, next wave, we got 23 TNT set up, ready to go. I'm gonna have to just, I don't know, just keep running, I guess. I don't know exactly where I'll end up. Let's see, if I snake this way, and then around there, I guess I'll end up in that corner and then have nowhere left to go. Oh boy. Whoa, hit it, hit, no, hit all of them. Whoa. Okay, yes, yes, damage, I know. Oh no, wrong way, keep going. Don't stop believing. Oh gosh, give in to the feeling or something like that. I think I missed one. Ow. Uh-oh. Ow. Ow. <laughs> All right. Um, that was fun. It wasn't as visual as I would have liked it to be because I, I, uh, I spent the whole time running away from the TNT. Whew. Okay, let's uh, collect all the blocks. It's a nice way to get some blocks. Let's collect all the blocks and then uh, let's kind of survey what we've done and what we should do next. I think I've done a pretty good amount. I've, I've been efficient. So I think from here on out, maybe I can be a little bit more silly. Okie doke, more than a stack of TNT laid out. I don't know if an arrow will actually shoot off. Uh... No, <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Um, there's obviously no flame bow. Just thought I'd try it. I would like to get up to my vantage there to watch it before all hell breaks loose. Oh, hey, whoop, oh, whoop. Oh. Okay, run, hurry, before it starts. Oh gosh, watch it, no! Yes, yes! Oh, very, very nice. That was awesome. Wow, all the particle effects, and I've got a huge area cleared out. <laughs> that was, uh, that's the where the aqueduct used to be. Let's climb up here, or maybe just, uh, let's, maybe from here, let's climb up and get a little bit more of a vantage. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, that's good. That's a good start. Okay, area is cleaned out. I've got some shapes here, which we'll talk about in a second. I gotta take care of a little problem. Where'd you go, sucker? You were just there. I just saw you. He didn't, he didn't die. Hello. Perhaps he ran away. All right. So let's head down here. I need to grab another water bucket. I've got uh, torches there, which <laughs> um, show me where my ladder is. Let me grab a water bucket. Where you at? There's one. Okay. Did, have I made an infinite source down here? Let me just make another one. I got rid of all the water sources when I was blowing things, whoops, when I was blowing things to smithereens. Let me do it this way. This way, yes, okay, good. Lovely. Um, you see, I've got five torches right here. That is the cloud layer. And I put a sign there in case I forgot. And that's gonna be a major visual obstruction. So I don't wanna put anything important on the th on the threshold between there. So I don't wanna put my storage to where you won't be able to see it. So it's either gonna be above or below. All of the boat launch stuff is going to be at this level where the aqueducts are and where this piggy is. And I think the storage is gonna be above it and we're gonna work on the tower base a bit. Now I don't want to just have a big cylinder for the tower. I wanna to sort of break up the shape and have some, I don't know, kind of like disconnected and floating elements to it. So I'm going to work on it 
on a quarter of the of the tower base. And if I see something I like, I'll copy it over to the other sides. You can see I've got some uh, little squares here. And what they're what they what they are is uh, spots where I want to put some water. I was thinking uh, we still don't have very many. Oh gosh, uh, we don't. Oh gosh. Uh, <laughs> nah. I got. Oh. oh wow. Uh, crap. Any enemies? Skeletons? No. Wow, that was close. Half a heart. Let me go ahead. I'm just gonna heal up to full in case that happens again. Holy moly. Oops. Where'd that go? Did you see that? It just disappeared. Okay, whatever. Fine. <laughs> That's fine. I, I have more left over. Biggie, please replenish my pork supplies. No. Okay, anyway. Let's head back up. Uh, so this is going to be a water spout. A little extra gunpowder never hurt nobody. Maybe, maybe he uh, wandered off and fell and died. That's probably what happened. That was probably the one I shot four times. I was thinking of using water as a column, as a sort of building block, since we're so limited on block types, and we can't put stairs upside down, stairs don't connect, I've only got two types of stairs, that kind of thing. We're really limited on block types to build with, so I was thinking, why can't I put a block on... Is that because we're at the... This is the build limit. It's not letting me put a slab, uh, a slab on top of that. Ooh. Okay, that's unexpected. Um, I guess we will just work with that. Okay. So I'm going to put water here if the game will let me. I guess we'll just... I'll do it this way so that um, I don't get pushed off the slabs. Can't put torches here. I believe in this version of the game, monsters cannot spawn up here either at the build limit. I remember a super hostile thing in Legendary um, where Vex had to redesign some stuff. Uh, because the the build height got extended, and then s monsters were spawning all over the top of it. Can't put torches here. Uh, it doesn't even matter. I don't need to light it up, because monsters can't spawn up here. As far as I remember, anyway. Okay. And then, let me complete the cycle. The infinite spring. It doesn't look like an infinite spring, does it? Uh, that'll that'll be fine for now though. I just want to see what it looks like. Ooh. Ow! Yeah. Okay. Um, so that'll be the start. I'm gonna use that as kind of like a transparent column. I may replace it with lava. I don't know. Um, and so I'm gonna have kind of a, a shape coming up to hold that, and then up here will be the rest of the tower held up by this water column. And then there'll be this floating shape kind of in this uh, this shape that'll be up here. And uh, the, the pieces, I don't want any of them to connect except by maybe these water columns. Okay, so that's going down there. Let's come back down here. Don't kill yourself, please. Uh, let's get more water. And then I, I need to set up an area for store. Oh, that's where that piece of uh, pork chop went. I need to set up some storage. Now we can't put a chest directly on top of each other. We can't shift click an item down. So if I hold shift right now and click, nothing, I just open the chest. Um, also, let's see, if I do a slab, let's see what happens if I do a slab. Okay, yeah, that still works. And should be the same for a stair. Anything that's not a full block, if I put glass, should be able to access it still. Um, but I can't, like, stack chests really densely. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the shape of this to inform where I put the chest. I'm going to do them kind of in this pattern here, like that. And then I think it's going to be, I think we're going to start by having my storage up there. All right, here is the candidate staircase I picked. I tried three or four different things. I tried having it go up and then switch back this way to connect there. I tried having it go up on the inside and sort of wrap around and just uh, trying to consider space management and the shape it makes overall and how that's going to echo the other four sides once we build those. Um, this is what we're going with. Okay, so it's it's also going to be on this side. going to come up here. 
around the corner, and we are centered with the the water column, and I've got eight double chests around here. You can see they've got a bias to point, um, that is east. So the chests want to point either west or, what is this, south, or no, uh, east, yeah, south. They want to point south, and the stairs actually kind of have a similar bias. Uh, I actually totally forgot that the stairs used to behave like this, but they don't behave the way you might think they do. They don't position themselves in the direction you place them, necessarily. They have more to do with what's behind them and what's to the side of them. You can see when I do that, they change to face each other, and they also have a bias to go east-west if they can, if there's nothing there. Um, so if I do that... Um, but if I do this, they will, they will try to face, uh, the blocks behind them, so they will shift. But if I do this, you can see they change, uh, to face the eastern direction. Same thing goes on the western direction. But, check this out. If I do this in a north-south direction, they don't change. And so to get them to shift, you've got to bracket them on either side. Totally forgot about that, but I remembered after I started building this staircase. So these blocks here are not necessary for this staircase, but they are necessary for this staircase. So to make the thing symmetrical, I've got to put them on both sides. Uh, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time trying to detail and make a little bit nicer shape and appearance, use up uh, the slabbies, the stones, all the stuff. All right, I think I'm all done for today. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. I actually tried using wood a couple of times and it just didn't look right. I tried wood for the stairs and I tried it for some details here and there. It didn't really work. The whole thing was looking rather square and I didn't want it to look square. I wanted it to look kind of carved and uh, like a corner, like an edge of, of a circle. So I, I peeled open this inside here and I exposed the water on the inside. I think that's a really good idea. I really like that. It reminds me, actually, this water going, it feels like it's going upwards. It reminds, reminds me of Halo, the Pillar of Autumn thing. Is that the Pillar? No. Was the ship the Pillar of Autumn? What, whatever that beacony thing was in Halo, that's what it reminds me of. And there will be one in each corner. So, like, the staircase there will be mirrored by a staircase going up right here. And then we've left some room for the aqueducts to launch out along each of the corners, and need to work on a boat launch. But I've got the uh, eight double chests, which I think is more than I have over at... Oh, I just can't resist. But pow I think that's more than I have over in the... Uh, where, well, where my ad hoc storage is. The temporary stuff that we're going to move... I'll probably build a second one of those off camera just to see what it looks like with two of them paired up. Uh, that may make me reconsider some things. Maybe not. Let's see. I've got uh, all my tools are in that one. I'll probably put all the special tools, all the saved ones. I'll probably put those somewhere else. Uh, maybe somewhere here in the museum actually would be appropriate. Then I've got one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna need more than one of those pillars. Need to build a second one. Do I have an ax? Oh, but I have too many things in my inventory. I've got a lot of cobblestone that I need to transport over. Okay, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Two double stacks of kaboom. See you next time. Bye-bye.